Hello everyone, we're going to be looking at Program Aided Language Models, also known as PAL in Langchain. So we're going to be doing from langchain.chain's import PAL chain. We're going to be choosing a language model. When you run it, you pass it a question, but a question can be broken down and converted into a Python function. So as you can see here, you've got a question. Jan has three times the number of pets as Marcia. Marcia has two more pets than Cindy. If Cindy has four pets, how many total pets do the three have? palchain.run, pass in the question. So you can see what it's doing here and it's creating a Python function. And basically Jan's got Marcia times three, Marcia equals Cindy plus two, Cindy equals four. And basically it's adding all those up and it's returning the result, which is 28. Um, now, if we'd done that in our heads, we'd probably have needed, we wouldn't have been able to do that. We would have just ended up with a pen and paper, most likely, or I would have done. So let's have a look at this one. and. Um, Colored objects. So on the desk, you see two blue booklets, two purple booklets, and two yellow pairs of sunglasses. If I remove all the pairs of sunglasses from the desk, how many purple items remain on it? So we know it should be two. Yeah. So it understands color as well. Um, you can also tell it to show the intermediate steps, which is quite handy because you do want to be checking that it is actually getting the right answer. So there is a white paper for this, and that's available from this link here on the Langchain documentation. If you come to the PDF, I've jumped straight to page 13. And interestingly, you'd think that because it's just a computer and it doesn't need to answer to a human, it would be able to just do a function and understand stuff just with its own kind of non-human friendly variable names. But apparently, alternative prompts of meaningful variable names actually perform better. So if we scroll down, role of text in PAL, three different reasoning steps. And yeah, you can see for mathematical problems, since our standard prompts do not use much comment, we start by creating alternative blah, blah, blah. Um, these results underscore the importance of text, but more importantly show that combining both text and procedural statements leads to higher performance gains. Either uh, is suboptimal. So, yeah. There's a lot to be uh, dissected here. There's a lot of um, yeah solve rate as well. Look, PAL seventy two percent. Um, I have experimented with it, and what I've been doing is let me just show you. So that's the PDF. I, it's probably just worth a good skim through. So here's the um, on page two. You start with a basic example. So uh, Roger started with five tennis balls, two cans of three tennis balls, and each is six tennis balls. Five plus yeah. So you can read through that anyway. So here's my example. And I kind of, I thought I'd use time because time is always a hard one to add together and convert back into hours and minutes. Um, so if I drive at 60 miles an hour, except for the first 20 minutes of the journey from my house, when I have to do 30 miles per hour. So I do 30 miles per hour for the first 20 minutes. So obviously that's, that's covered 10 miles. Calculate how long will it take me to drive to London and return back home. London is 100 miles away. So I'll be doing the first 10 mile, miles at 30 miles per hour. It take me 20 minutes. And then I'll be doing the remaining 90 miles at 60 miles an hour. So that'll take me an hour and a half. So that's an hour and a half plus, um, plus 20 minutes. Um, so in total, that's an hour and 50 minutes to get there. And it would be an hour and 15 minutes to get back, which would take me up to, what would that be, three hours 40. And then I tell it that on the way back, I stopped for 15 minutes to get petrol. So that's three hours 40 plus 15. So it should be three hours 55. And believe it or not, it's actually it's worked it out. Got it. To, then I got it to print the answer as a tuple. Um, so that's what it's done. It's gone off and made its own Python function called solution. Um, I probably wouldn't have worked out how it's done it, but it doesn't 
at least it's shown its steps and it's correct. So you can't really ask for much more than that. Um, I've also done um, with uh, get open a callback just so that I could see the token usage. And because I used, let me just show you this, because I used that open AI with the 3.5 turbo model, it's only actually used 0.002. So it's 0.2 of a cent. If I'd used um, open AI, um, it could have gone up to about 0.3 dollars, 0. Sorry, 0 0.03. So yeah, much more economical doing it this way if you specify um, if you specify chat open AI. So that is a kind of let me just run that again just to show you I've not just um <laughs> let's just run the code. You can see it. See how long it takes. So here we go. What was that about? Five oh four hours fifty five. Have I changed it? That's almost, that's given me a different answer to what I had before. That's very odd. So you can see it's not perfect. Um, let's run it again. Uh, so it shouldn't, it should be three hours 55. And this got three hours 55. Did I just imagine that? Um, if I did imagine that, I'll um, I'll edit that out. But uh, yeah, how bizarre. But anyway, there we go. That is how to use PAL program aided language models. So it's pretty good. And to say, if you look at the PDF, it might give you some inspiration for sort of some practice questions. It's basically abstracting. Um, it's abstracting the logic from a natural language sentence. Does the other one look? Uh, Baker's started with 200 loaves, blah, blah, blah. You can read it anyway. I don't need to go on it in the video. On the video. So I'll leave, um, if I remember, I'll put the link to this in the description. But um, you can see they've done lots of experiments and tests with, um, here we go. They've, they've done lots of experiments and comparisons. And basically, they've established that it does perform more optimally with um, language and mathematical reasoning. Um, you can see PAL. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what these stand for, but you can kind of guess single equation, operation, add, subtract, multiple arithmetic. So 99%, which is probably more than a lot of us got in our maths exams at school. So I think we're probably better off trusting this than trying to do it ourselves, especially with complex problems. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, and that's kind of a whistle-stop tour of program-aided language models, PAL. You import the PAL, PAL chain, in LangChain, and uh, yeah, you're off to the races. So yeah, as always, try and confuse it, try and trick it, A, because it's fun, and B, because you need to, because if this is going to be doing something serious, then you don't want it telling lies and hallucinating. So thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with probably some more Langchain. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and all that.